So today we're going to be playing around with scale factor a little bit more and just seeing what we can get done. So we're going to be having a play with some of these shapes and we're going to be seeing if we can work out the value of the pro numeral by first proving similarity for each pair of shapes. Now for the first one, it's a very quick one. You can see here we've got a matching angle here and we've also got a matching angle here. Therefore, by double A, since they're triangles, these are similar. Alternatively, we could have used SAS by using SAS and SAS, but AA is the fastest proof almost always, so it's always better off to probably try and do um, uh, the angle proof. Now, we need to work out the K, because if we're wanting to go from here to here, then that means we need to work out what the K value is. So since this is the original and this is the image, let's take two sides that we know. So let's see how the 4 and the 6 have been used. So 4 over 6 gives us 2 thirds or 0 0.6666667. I'm just going to use 2 thirds, which means that to get from here to here, I needed to multiply it by 2 over 3. But obviously, I want to go back. So to work out x is going to be equal to 9. But instead of times, because I'm going the wrong way, it's going to be divided by 2 on 3. And I might go, well, how do you work that out? Well, if you're not 100% sure, you can use a calculator. But I'll show you how to do it regardless. Using our trick, we can turn multiplication, a division into multiplication. So let's change this into times 3 on 2. Now we can try to simplify this. Well, 9 times 3 is going to be 27. And it's still over 2. And then 27 divided by 2. Well, that's equal to... 13.5 because half of 26 would be 13 plus you've got the extra one so you get a 0.5 so that means x is going to be 13.5 meters Alrighty. so let's have a look at the next one how are we going to prove these are similar and for this one what I'd suggest you do is remember some of our rules now angle rules are great so one of the earliest ones we learn is the x rule which is that if you have two angles on the opposite side of an intersection, they have to be the same. Which means that using that rule here, we know that these two angles have to be the same. But there's a few other rules that we learned. For example, the Z rule. Now the Z rule says for two parallel lines that the angles on the inside must be the same. Well, I can draw you a big Z here and these are both parallel, which means that this angle is going to match this angle. Well, hey, you know what I like about matching angles. By AA, these are similar. Meaning that this triangle here is similar to this triangle here. And with that piece of information, I now know how I can get from here to here. I can multiply by k. So what I've got to work out? k. So let's find the only matching pair we've got, which is of the two parallel sides, 10 and 5. k is equal to uh, image over ridge. Well, the image is 10. The original is 5. That gives us a k value of 2, so it's times 2 to get from the left to the right. Well, that means x, right, is the one that is touching just the blue angle, but not the other one. And so this is going to be our x sides here. So x is going to be equal to 4.2 times 2, which is 8.4 centimeters. And y, well, y matches here, because this is where the two sides meet up. So it's going to match with the 3. So y is going to be equal to 3 times 2 for the scale factor, which gives us 6 centimeters. And there we go. Last one down the bottom. Now we have two different triangles here, the first one being ACB and the second triangle being AED. 
So these are the two triangles we're looking at, and we want to see whether we can prove whether or not they are similar or not. Well, first of all, they definitely have one angle in common because this angle A here, angle A is shared by both of these triangles. So that's one angle for free. And the other one we need, well, we can use another one of these rules, the F rule. Now, the F rule says if you have two lines um, going parallel, then that means that these angles here are the same. And I can draw an F pointing up with the parallel signs going here and here, which means these two angles are going to be the same. So angle B in the little triangle matches with angle D. So we've got A matching on both, and then we've got B matching D. And you can see as well that C matches E, but that's just icing on the case because for proving, we only need to prove AA. These are similar. They have by um, our parallel line rules. Alrighty, so from here, how do we work out x? Well, we first need to work out the k scaling factor. So the x belongs with 9, so that's not a complete pair, but the complete pair we do actually have is ac becomes ae. So let's say the image, we're going from the little triangle to the slightly bigger one, that's going to be times k. So the image over original it's going to be equal to well the image is 12 the original is 8 that's 1.5 for k and since we're going from the the big triangle down to the small triangle we're going to be going the opposite way which is going to be dividing by k so that means that x is going to be equal to 9 which is the matching side of x divided by 1.5, which is equal to 6 millimeters. And there we are. So these were a few little challenges working with them, and a little bit of a recap on some of our um, old uh, rules in terms of parallel um, lines and intersecting lines. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.